Welcome to this session, Tips and Trips with Groundwater Modeling using FIFLO. Today, we will discuss the topic of 3D and structure meshes in FIFLO. This session will be split in three different parts. In the first part, we will cover the use of the 3D layer configurator. My name is Carlos Rivera, and the Global Product Specialist of FIFLO in DHI. As you know, we introduced the workflow of 3D fully and structured meshes in the software several years ago. And since then, we have been expanding the different capabilities for building and structured meshes with the software. In summary, we have three different workflows. The use of the very famous 3D layer configurator, updating, modifying an existing 3D model, and or working with 3D geological data. In this session today, we will focus on the use of 3D layer configurator in FIFLO. The layer configurator in FIFLO exists since several years in the software, and we have updated a few years ago to support complex workflows of working with instruction meshes. The layer configurator becomes an interactive tool where you can import your elevation data create some rules how this elevation data need to set into specific parts or surfaces of the model domain. And FIFLO, based on these rules, will decide what parts of the model will be removed, upcropped, what parts will be remeshed. And you have full flexibility to decide how this process is going to take. Let's discuss one example. Here we have a cross-sectional area in the upper line we describe the topography of the model domain here. This topography is placed in the model using interpolation method. We just require three coordinates x, y, and z and use any of the interpolation methods in FIFLO. We have inverse instance, Akima, or Kriging. When, when the elevation is done and the interpolation is completed, you can classify this slice as fixed. Fixed means that in, if in the next steps we are going to intersect any elevation of the layers below with a topography, FIFLO will know that topography has a higher priority and will use this information to prescribe and to constrain the other layers or slices. We do the same with the bottom elevation of the 3D model domain. We interpolate and we get the right elevation of the model. Again, we fix this slice because we are not going to move the bottom elevation of the model. In the next step, we are going to create a layer in yellow. A, a layer in FIFLO is described by two slices. So we introduce the two slices in the layer configurator, interpolate, since the slices are intersecting with topography and topography has been previously classified as fixed, FIFLO will know where to stop this layer. We are done with yellow. We classify now this layer as fixed and we start interpolating the elevation of the layer in red color, which consists in two slices. Red intercept yellow. Yellow is now being marked as fixed. FIFLO knows where to stop and define the final elevation of this layer. Let's demonstrate this workflow in the FIFLO graphical interface. I am now in FIFLO, and to save some time, I have prepared the elevation in some user data. This is something also supported recently in the layer configurator. You can create your own nodal distribution and store all the information in this nodal distribution. So you can do already the interpolation before you put this data in the layer configurator. That is a good practice because allows you to double check the elevation, allows you to work with expressions, maybe alter specific parts of the layer or the slice by, doing, by working with selections and other standard operations in the software. I have two sets of elevation, elevation center top and bottom. I have also created a 2D polyline, which will help me to draw a slice data trace view 
and check the elevation that I've been interpolated before. Simple double click. And if I hold control, I double click in the next one and now finally zoom out. So you have a very simple example where the layer is being collapsed somewhere in the middle. We're going to test different approaches to model this in the layer configurator from the basic one and classical of prescribing the, a minimum elevation in exactly in the location where the layer collapse up to a workflow or a mesh where we will work with tetraedros and create a full structure mesh. Back in FIFLO, what I need to do is go to the menu edit, 3D layer configuration, and define the different slices and elevations that I want. At the beginning, you can just add these slices, test the elevation, and when you come out with a specific order and classification of the different slices that work for you, you can always repeat this workflow once and every time that you want to use it. For this, we have the possibility to save a macro. The button Start Recording a Macro will basically record all the different settings that you do in the layer configurator. I have already a macro. I will press Start and FIFLU will give me the macro files, save it under the import-export folder in FIFLU. As you can see, the model has been automatically built. If I change the location of the view and rotate the model, I see that the model consists in five layers and the middle layer collapsed at some point. If we press OK, FIFLO comes with a layer resolution dialog because we have slice intersections and we need to decide how to proceed in this case. If you take the first option, which is the standard option in the software in many years, FIFLO will preserve a minimum thickness exactly in the areas where the layer collapse or so the thickness of the layer is zero. You can, you can modify these settings if you go back to the layer configurator and choose another option. But before doing that, let me check what is happening with the mesh. Click on section and use the option cross-section view. Now we see what is happening with the cross-sectional view and if we zoom in the location of the middle, we see the minimum thickness layer in the, in the model. I am back in the 3D layer configurator. If I press a run, run macro, FIFLO will be like in the layers. This time we take another option, remesh the pinch and invalid elements. I will simply leave the more basic option and press OK. The model is done. It takes seconds to mesh this problem. Now we can look again at the section. Right click, cross section view. If we look now at the results of the meshing, we carefully can see that FIFLO has done the minimum of creating the triadron exactly at the intersection of these slices here on the left and here on the right side. Let's take a look at another option. Back in the layer configurator, now we have already prepared the slices. Pressing OK. Again, we got the layer resolution dialog. This time we will remesh the entire layer containing the pinch elements. Mesh is done. If you quickly see in 3D, FIFLO has remeshed the entire layer as the name of the auction was indicated. If we look at the cross-sectional view, we can see the entire remeshing. Notice that we have a vertical exaggeration in this cross-section. This is why the length of the tetrahedron looks a bit larger. Also, we haven't played with any criterion for controlling the mesh quality and the mesh size. Finally, back again to the layer configurator. Press OK, and we choose the last option. We will remesh the entire, the complete mesh. Irrelevant whether we need to remesh part of this or not. Mesh is ready. We look again in 3D, the entire mesh is an structure. Cross-section view, and we can see the entire remeshing in the whole 
cross section. You would like to get more tips and tricks about groundwater modeling. I would recommend you to join our fee flow community and visit our landing page mypowerbydhi.com slash product slash feeflow. Here you have a contact formular at the end of the page where you can ask your questions, inquietudes, wishes, and any comments that you have about the software. My name is Carol Rivera. Talk to you until the next time. Thank you.